In this video, we want to do one simple thing, and that's to implement login and sign up with Google using Better Auth. We have already implemented the email and password adapter in this application, so if you're starting from scratch, you should first watch my other video with Better Auth implementation. I'll leave the link for that video in the description below. And let's start with the implementation. So this login with Google button should actually lead us to the Google login page. So I'm going to open the better auth documentation. This is the landing page we're going to docs and here we are going to authentication and we are going to search for Google. Here it is. And now we have some steps that we need to do before we start coding this one. First thing that we need to do is to create our own Google credentials and we are doing that in the Google Cloud Console. So I'm clicking on that one and now here we need to go to our credentials. Here you can see that I have already created auth for the meal planner and now we want a new project. So I'm creating a new client ID right here and I'm going to put it to be a web application and I'm going to call it Orkish AI Next.js Framework. That's the name of my application. And now here we need to add the authorized redirect URL. And we can see that one here in the better auth documentation. So we need to add this one. So this is our callback for Google provider. And we are putting now localhost 3000. But in reality, for your app, when you put it on production, it should look like this. So this should be your domain, actually. That's when we put it on production. So I'm going to add the new authorized redirect URL. Here it is. And I'm just going to click create. And now we have our client ID and our client secret. I'm going to delete this one afterwards, but you shouldn't share this one with anyone. So I'm going to copy the client ID and we are going to our code for the first time. And I'm opening the ENV example file. So here, I'm going to add the new Google credentials, Google client ID and Google client secret. And I'm going to copy that one also to my .env file. I copy pasted it in my ENV file. And now we are going back to our better auth documentation. So we have our second step configuring the provider. And we are just going to put this one social providers inside of our better auth auth.ts file. So I'm going to my code again, auth.ts. And here we are just going to put it like this, social providers, Google, and then client ID. We are putting our client, Google client ID and Google client secret. So it needs to be the same name like here in our ENV file. And believe it or not, we can now already log in with Google. So I'm going to our login form. Here we have that Google button, it's somewhere SVG, here it is. So we have login with Google button and we're going to create a new function, handle login with Google, just like this. And we are going to use auth client from better auth, but it's not login with Google, it's actually sign in and then it's social like this. And we are putting our provider as Google and we can also put callback URL to be, I think it's something like, let's see here is, yeah, it's this AI selector. So we are going to AI selector page right after we log in. And now we need to use this handle login with Google on our button. So it's this button right here, login with Google. We are putting it on click there and we are going to put type button because it's submit by default and it's running our form. So let's test it out. We are going now to our application. I'm just going to refresh one time. I'm clicking the login with Google button and that is leading us straight to our Google login. So I'm choosing my org dev and this one should log me in. That's it. It's working. So now we are on the AI selector and 
if we go here to my account, I don't know, oh, I didn't create this yet. This could be one of my next videos. And you saw that when we log in, here we had this meal planner project. And the reason for that is because I have created Orkishay and XJS Framer client ID under the meal planner project. So when you first come here to this ugly looking Google console, you first need to create a new project for you. So I'm going to do the same thing. So here I'm just creating the Orkish AI next JS framework. And then I'm going to create actually my credentials under this project here and not under meal planner. And then everything is going to work normally. So here we're not going to have meal planner. We're actually going to have the Orkish AI Next.js project. I don't know if it can be easier than this, guys. Better Auth is definitely my go-to solution for authentication. And for more videos like this, join the Mighty Horde, subscribe.